Rise of Kingdoms has officially revealed that we are finally getting at the Egypt civilization alongside the two commanders that are going to be coming to the game for said civilization and I gotta say boys I was right with the prediction with the snake on the helmet we have a lot to talk about with these two new commanders and I just want to go over a little bit about my thoughts and opinions on their design what their talents might be and boy am I excited to finally know for sure that I will be able to Exodia obliterate my enemies as Egyptian Exodia obliterate what's going on guys cheers all right so this was posted on the official rise of kingdoms forums but also on their social media okay so we saw the two new commanders posted here it's probably over on their Facebook as well and I'm gonna butcher these pronunciations again so I do apologize but it looks like we have the Imatep blessings of the Nile and it looks like Thutmose the third the warrior king guarantee I said that wrong please roast me in the comments section below while you're there go ahead and click the like button on the video okay and if you want to go ahead and sub if I've earned it if not then you could just scroll right past it that's fine but let's take a closer look at these commanders here okay so we have Emotep now some of the information that we have actually comes from the official Instagram page here because it says the caption is that Imhotep was considered to be the first architect in history known by name will also be joining rise of kingdoms to protect his civilization what do you think his talents are now the fact that they've highlighted him as an architect and are putting an architect in the game is really interesting obviously you can see here that there is imagery of them literally building Egypt right like that's what this is showing here on the official reveal photo for him if we look at blessings of the Nile this is you know obviously the Nile River is known for being a source of food blessings water right these are things that help the Egyptian civilization become so massive you know its location on the Nile so when I think about like what talents this commander might have um I think you know just judging off of the designs of these two characters and I have no idea I'm gonna guess that this is an epic commander okay um that is my assumption he will probably be like all other epic commanders in the silver and gold keys but as an architect with Egypt you know I think that it's pretty safe to say that Egypt is going to buff archers we see archers pretty much everywhere here we also see um archers were featured in the sort of sneak peek back in like February when they talked about a new civilization coming so I'm almost positive that we're going to be seeing if not an archer buff at least archer special units for this civilization and if that's the case I think Imhotep is going to have the archer talent tree I think that makes a ton of sense when we think about what his yellow talent tree might be right um are we gonna see another gathering commander I think that would make sense with the blessings of the Nile however I don't know if they're gonna do that we already have so many gathering commanders in the game uh and when they're talking about like an exciting new commander why would they want to just drop another gatherer right like that immediately is just not exciting for everybody who's already playing the game um however if we see an epic commander that gives you gold gathering speed that could be really interesting and it uh, certainly would reflect all of the imagery we're seeing coming out of Egypt right now we see gold on the chest here gold a little bit on his whatever this little like cloth helmet is that a cloth or is that a gold helmet I have no idea what that is and I gotta say the resolution and clarity of these images is absolutely gorgeous okay uh, but we see all gold everything okay this is like they're balling out of absolute control over there in Egypt all right obviously you have Ramses Cleopatra all covered in gold okay if this is a gathering epic commander gold gathering speed would be really cool I'm also curious to know about you know if he's an architect does that mean that maybe Egypt is going to have some sort of building speed buff for the civilization as a whole I think that could be really cool it's worth noting however that China already has five percent building speed with an archer special unit so that might make it a little bit too similar to China but hey it's totally possible if he's not going to be a gathering commander I'm going to just go ahead and assume it will be either garrison or versatility uh I don't see this being a conquering commander at all it doesn't really make any sense to me the reason that I'm thinking that it could be versatility is just because like he's an architect he doesn't really do anything specifically right so if it's not gathering it's just it is what it is um but I think Garrison is interesting because they use the words where is it here um it says that he protects his civilization okay and then if we take a look at the sort of official post on the forum here it says two new commanders will be joining rise of kingdoms to protect their civilization so again they're focusing on the word protect they use that wording here and on Instagram as well so I'm wondering like 
if they're emphasizing the word protect could both of these commanders either have maybe the garrison tree um or could we see perhaps the defense tree on these commanders i think that's something really interesting to note um for imatep as you know again they're talking about as an architect somebody who's helping build up the civilization um does the skill tree make sense probably not um, i'm thinking the support tree perhaps is something that we could be seeing on this commander and the attack tree i i really don't think so so for imatep i'm gonna go ahead and guess archer gathering and defense if not i'm gonna say probably archer gathering support something along those lines and i'm hoping that we see gold gathering speed if he's a gathering commander um again i i really hope he's not uh, i really don't want to see more gatherer commanders in the game i just there's just so many we do we literally like we actually don't need more because you have enough to have five full armies of gatherers like we we're done we don't need more gatherers so i'm really hoping he's not but again if he is the only thing that would make me excited is if free to play players get uh you know a, a gold gathering speed commander okay let's move on to footmos the third the warrior king now um two things one he does look badass but he does look like a douchebag he looks like a like a prick like i would never want to talk to him in real life like he's just he looks like he's obviously very full of himself he's snide snarky looking down on you um just looks like a total asshole definitely not somebody that i would associate myself with however we're not talking about that okay we're not judging his character we're judging what he's going to do in rise of kingdoms i've made this coffee so good this morning oh my god so again going off of you know obviously we're going to be seeing some sort of archer special unit is what we're looking at here okay it looks like he's attacking the legionnaires down there which is pretty cool um i'm going to actually go ahead and make the argument that this is not going to be an archer legendary um my assumption and lilith if you're watching please do not put this commander in the gold keys please give us some other way to to obtain him we don't need to continue to dilute the gold key uh, commander pool it makes it harder to get specific commanders it takes forever already over a year to get a 5511 charles martel please don't put this in the gold keys okay however going off the assumption that this will be in the gold keys i'm going to make the assumption that it's not going to be an archer commander i'm going to go ahead and say this is going to be another leadership commander because he was a pharaoh right he was known for leading his people he was not focused on a specific thing okay he was not an archer okay he was a leader of his people and if that's the case similar to ragnar similar to julius caesar right i think he's going to be a leadership commander and i do think you know we, we literally see the garrison here like this is literally your city wall okay so i think we're going to be seeing the garrison and defense trees on thutmose the third which i think is going to be really interesting we obviously already have charles martel um who is in the gold keys who has garrison who has the defense tree and we've seen how well he's aged as a commander not necessarily for the garrison tree but you know if we take a look at you know if this commander is in the gold keys um leadership commanders are you know they're decent for defending your own city uh and if this commander is good at that then well now free to play players may have an opportunity to obtain over time a commander that is good for city defense right or at least somewhat decent right and i think that's going to be really special and really cool um especially because i mean he does he looks badass right i mean having him on your wall you would just you would feel like a king bro you would feel super super good about that he's obviously got this really interesting i don't know if this is like a little bit of a a scimitar or like a little it's a curved dagger i don't really know what the specific term is for that i'm sure somebody will put it in the comment section below now if we take a look at thutmos the third's uh, wikipedia page it says he created the largest empire egypt had ever seen no fewer than 17 campaigns were conducted and he conquered lands from syria to upper nubia so we're, we literally are seeing this is this guy in history was known for conquering okay he was known for taking over lands so while we do see the wording and the verbiage used uh, on on the forums where did it go here um to, that, to protect their civilization um perhaps one of these commanders is garrison and defense the other one perhaps the most is a conquering commander which would be really interesting and what's really scary about that um is that when we take a look at again i i think he will be leadership um and if we take a look at some of the leadership conquering commanders that came into the game in gold keys 
they are uh, amongst the worst commanders in the game right we see julius caesar leadership conquering attack we see ragnar leadership conquering attack we keep seeing this pattern um if lilith puts another leadership conquering attack commander in the game in the form of thutmose the third then it's just going to be another huge letdown so i really don't want to see that happen i really want to see these commanders have some sort of niche role at least for the first like two kvks okay i really want to see may okay maybe just the moves okay let's just say imatep is like a gathering commander whatever who cares about him at least give like this guy's so cool and egypt is so so cool that i i don't want to see um just another leadership uh you know conquering attack commander just fall to the wayside as a piece of trash okay a piece of marketing material that they just dispose of okay and i'm getting the feeling that that could be the case i really hope it's not i want to see if he's leadership at least make him garrison and defense tree and see if maybe we can use him to defend our city in the early game that would be kind of cool but again these are all just my opinions and they mean nothing without yours in the comment section below guys what do you think of these two new commanders that were just revealed do you like their designs what do you think they're going to do you think we're going to see some gold gathering speed what are you guys suspecting is going to be the case here i would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below with that being said make sure you guys drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it gets this video out into the algorithm that's what it does it helps push this out to other rise of kingdoms players and if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you want to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace